Well, Thank now uh, for our newsmaker on the show, we're joined by Dr. Vincent Rajkumar, Editor-in-Chief of Blood Cancer Journal, also oncologist, someone who's a cancer expert and has been looking into this immunity issue when it comes to coronavirus. Thank you so much for speaking to us, Dr. Rajkumar. So one of the big mysteries regarding COVID is why is it that some people, you know, are asymptomatic when they get infected while others get very, very sick? And I know this is an issue that you've also focused on. Yes, uh, you know, the first question you're asking is, uh, why are some people with COVID uh, severely symptomatic and almost, um, you know, life-threatening uh, ICU admission and many people are dying from it, whereas others are completely asymptomatic and there's a spectrum in between. Um, I think one of the puzzles of COVID is, is the large proportion of people who are asymptomatic. And I think there are really four easy ways of looking at that and saying these could be the, the reasons. Uh, number one is some of us just have an innate ability to quickly uh, clear the virus and, and so we hardly have any symptoms. Another possibility is the viral load. Um, uh, if the exposure to the virus is, uh, is a small amount of virus or a small dose that, that gives the immune system enough uh, ability to clear the virus quickly before it becomes symptomatic. It gives a head start to the immune system. A third factor might be genetics. And there are some studies which suggest, you know, certain blood group types, uh, certain polymorphisms may explain why some people get much more sick than others. And finally, there is the issue of cross-reactive immunity. Um, the COVID virus, the SARS-CoV-2 virus, is a coronavirus. And coronaviruses cause common cold. And so uh, it is possible that a, uh, a huge proportion of the population might be exposed to, the, to various coronaviruses in the past, not the same SARS-CoV-2, but other ones. And whatever immunity they have against that could play a cross-reactive role, could, could affect or target the new coronavirus as well. And so this is called cross-reactive immunity. It can be in the form of B cells or T cells, and that might be protecting. So these four reasons probably help explain why some people are asymptomatic and some people are much more symptomatic. And, and can you tell us more about T cells as you know, they're being talked about a lot uh, since the pandemic and since a lot of research has been going on on them? So again, the background is that when we get an infection, we usually mount both an antibody response, which is called a B cell response, as well as a T cell response. Now, both responses work together to help us fight most infections. And um, when you measure antibody levels, you're only getting part of the picture. You're finding out all of the people who have been exposed to coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2, who have developed antibodies. But what we are finding from many studies is that there is an extra subset of people who you're not able to detect antibodies, maybe because it's a low titer, but they already have T cells that are reactive to um, the SARS-CoV-2 virus. And therefore, these T cells could also offer some protection that we are not recognizing. The second factor is that they have looked at samples collected before COVID came and you can detect these T cells that are reactive to SARS-CoV-2 virus, even in samples that, are, that were collected way before the start of the pandemic. That means there must be some T cells that are cross-reactive again, that, that were generated in response to some other virus, but some, somehow they seem to cross-react with the new virus. And so we don't understand how much protection the T cells will afford. I don't think they'll be enough to prevent you from getting the infection. But um, from from what we have seen with you know young kids who've been vaccinated at six months with measles, the T cell response may be by itself enough to prevent at least severe disease. All right, and uh, you know the World Health Organization has also been emphasizing about testing and tracking to fight coronavirus. But in the United States recently, uh, the CDC said it's not necessary for everyone to get tested if you're asymptomatic. Your views on that? I disagree with that uh, that statement by the CDC. I think it's clearly um, uh, it's clearly important to test asymptomatic people uh, who have been exposed because they could carry the virus. They themselves might be asymptomatic, 
But the risk is that they will spread it to others just as efficiently and cause very severe, serious symptomatic disease. It's very easy to identify who these people are if they've been exposed to someone and and take the necessary precautionary measures. I think we have to operate on the precautionary principle that asymptomatic people are there. And if you can identify them, you should identify them and protect other people from getting uh, infections. And uh, finally, I'd like to ask your views on India. You're from India. And what do you think about how India's dealt with the virus? Of course, now big concerns. We're adding over 90,000 cases every day. Oh, I've been following uh, India very closely. Uh, my parents still live in India. I have a lot of friends and family there. Uh, it's a country that I'm hugely concerned about. Um, and uh, from what I've seen, there are many optimistic signs. Um, one is that uh, there must be some level of cross-reactive immunity in India that is protecting the population because uh, in terms of deaths per million, India is only about 50 deaths per million, and that's 10 times lower than the United States. And um, so so uh, to the extent that you have zero positivity in Mumbai, in Pune, in Delhi, you are not seeing the overflowing ICUs and the huge number of deaths that we saw in New York or Lombardy. So something is protecting India, which I'm very grateful for. Um, I'm also, um, I, I think the government has generally done a really good job of trying to impose restrictions, trying to emphasize the need for masks. And I think it is only natural that now you have to relax. But as you relax, as long as the public is aware of taking just simple precautions, just wear a mask, don't join people in crowds, be very careful indoors particularly, um, just keep your hands clean, um, that alone will reduce the viral dose if not prevent you from getting an infection. All right, thank you so much, uh, Doctor, for speaking to us here at NDTV. Dr. Rajkumar, they're talking about coronavirus, immunity, and also the India story.